it's taken a long time to journey from discovering how to receive healing to living in health to living from an immortal perspective and over that time i had to learn how to navigate through the difficulties of um, sickness in the world uh, learning not to allow sickness any access to my to my life making sure if i went into a situation where there was sickness that i knew that that sickness couldn't touch me and that was my mindset and my belief system so i started taking communion uh, many years ago to look to deal with the dna and other things within uh, my life that i needed the love of god and of the power of god and the life of god through communion to deal with um, and i would take communion make the declarations you know i use the declarations for dna the stuff i shared in the last patreon talk um, which is in the engaging god teaching and materials also i did that for renewal in my mind also later on and i would do that consistently it became part of me and i began to fully receive the life that partaking of that communion brought me and as i was doing that i was doing it from a perspective that health is my inheritance in god health is is how god intended me to be so he's restoring me to his original purpose for me and his original intention for me and i cooperated with that by receiving communion so that then receiving that so i wouldn't die um, now i started receiving that to live in health so to live in health all death needs to go from your mind from your emotions fear and also from your body so if there's anything associated with death within our physical body then it needs to go any association mindsets belief systems with death it needs to go and i did that using communion as the way and then god took me further into that rather than just taking communion with with a specific piece of bread or some juice or whatever that every time i ate i could receive the life that that food represented in the life of god and i lived that way for a while and then the, the declarations and the decrees were already part of me so i didn't need to make those declarations they already were <laughs> completely connected to the taking and receiving and i didn't have to think about it it was part of me and then that moved on to um every breath that i take is a refreshing from the lord times of refreshing which means to breathe easily again so i'm receiving life in the spirit drawing that life into me every breath that i take and in a sense yod hey vav hey being the sort of rhythm of breath sort of yod hey vav and sort of breathing in breathing out and it was a sense where that took me into a state of communion where that is my mindset that is the state of being that i live in so i've gone from doing taking communion doing to receiving communion every time i ate which was becoming until then i've learned to be in a state of communion therefore health is not something i have to fight for because i have gone through the process of cleansing my dna or removing any death from me i've severed myself from connections to aging as a result of every day passing time so i'm not tethered in a negative sense to the passage of time and in a sense you know believing from health to immortality is not that big a step because if you continue it in health and your body is completely replenishing itself restoring itself and i cooperate with my body uh, within my mind for that restoration process so each of my cells receiving life from god repairing themselves restoring themselves renewing themselves so that we can live as we were intended um, and i believe we can continue to do that um, practically by going through that process so that we get to the point where we know that we know that we know that health's our inheritance therefore any symptoms associated with those things we need to take a stand against so if there are particular symptoms we need to say i reject those symptoms as mine 
you know, I'm not owning them. I'm not owning any of the sickness or ill health or any other areas. And if they are genetic issues, then taking on the DNA of God or the life of Jesus, we need to focus on those specific genetic issues and target those genetic issues with that focused life of God and of Jesus so that those issues get removed and we take on the, our true identity, which is a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old is gone, the new has come, but we need to totally come into the reality of that so that, that is the state of consciousness that we are living in. And there's no doubt, there's no unbelief, there's no wavering, there's no uh, being tossed here and there, is not being double-minded or shifting. There is just, that is the truth. That is the truth I live in. That is who I am. I am immortal. Um, obviously, I activate that life in me and I draw on the energy of the energy gates. I draw the energy from the quantum field. I do all those things, but that becomes an instinctive part of my life rather than me having every morning, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the other. It's just who I am. And I live that way. I live in that mindset. And it's become part of my spirit, soul and body being in union and oneness, which is so important in the whole process that we are one and we're not divided and our emotions are not out of sync with our physical body and our mind and all of it's in harmony. And I think that's the key is to live from a place of rest in harmony and allow that life that we're receiving to completely restore us and make us completely whole as we are putting on the immortality as we're embracing and beginning to live in the fact that we're sanctified spirit soul body entirely completely um, in that process of renewing our mind towards that if you enjoy these videos would you please take a moment to like comment and subscribe it really does help thank you very much